Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our 2021 and we're gonna get the baseball four box PYT number five. Uh, we do need to random the non baseball spot, however. So I'm gonna get everyone's name, copy and paste it into the randomizer. Where is my die? Here it is. We don't do ones or two, so I'm gonna roll again. I'm gonna go nine times in the random. Top name wins the non baseball spot, as always. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. And the money shot. Boom, nine. TCU, congratulations to you. You win the non-baseball spot. Let's sort this by teams. All right, any last opportunities to uh, trade? Speak now or, you know, or, or not. Alright, nobody wants to trade? Fine by me. So, get this out of there. Alright, here we go. Got the topper, which I. Uh, We'll save for last. Right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everyone. First hit is a relic for the Red Sox. JD Martinez.
Hmm, a framed mini. Come on, big hit. Ah, Pud Rodriguez. Game used relic. Although it doesn't specify the date on that. Nice little something, something for the Rangers. Kevin Smith, maybe. Mason Rudolph going to start today for the Steelers. And Dwayne Haskins is going to play tonight, too, for the Steelers. So it looks like Ben Roethlisberger won't. And he shouldn't see any action during the preseason. Maybe the last game. Looks like he can... Uh, I guess get a feel for the game. Autographs tough to come by in this Ginter stuff. Right, there's the third hit out of the box. Could tell Marte Divex. Alrighty. Let's put this outside. Come on, we need a big hit, baby. What do we have here? Another frame mini. It is autographed. Rookie for the Blue Jays. Mr. Tom Hatch. Here you go, Joe Pa. Michael Brian Hayes, rookie mini. How are you doing, Chris?
nice bald eagle. Hopefully had a, a nice easy day at work, Chris. There's our other relic, JT Real Muto, Phillies. No, JBS. Uh, that, that's that's correct. I have eleven boxes left. Got a Grisham relic for the Padres. Actually, no, Jimenez, you're right. Never mind. You are correct. I thought I did that. Thank you for reminding me. Apparently, TCU, apparently. Alright, I'm on box three. Hmm. Looks like a frame mini, maybe. 
Autograph for the non baseball spot. I have no idea who that is. Apparently, it's Buzz Bissinger, journalist and author. Well, there you go. What, what channel is that Field of Dreams game on anyway? New York's Yan uh, Yankees White Sox, is it? Oh, that's kind of cool. Is there like a legit cornfield out there? Oh, they got like a maze there on the side. Wow. Yeah, no wonder they were charging $4,000 a pop. There's probably maybe 5,000 people there tops. Maybe 10,000 people. Oh, wow. The rare dual mini. No. No mini here, but there was an extra one in the last pack. We got Mr. Derek Lee, Cubs Relic. No, Chris. Not yet, anyway. How many boxes have you opened, uh, Cheeto? You got five left. Anything nice in those seven boxes, Cheeto? Relic for the Blue Jays, Guriel Jr.
Yeah, I had a box topper uh, rip card last night. It was Alex Bregman. We opened it up and there was a mini Hank Aaron. Uh, I think like a mini Goldschmidt. And the stained glass was Mookie Betts Dodgers. The Hanson Bros Triple Auto. Damn. That sounds nice. Well, I got seven cases total of this stuff. And I have a feeling that we'll get through a good portion of them this weekend. I don't know. Maybe I'll see a book. That was the that was the mini Arenado. I said Goldschmidt. I was close. Same same team, right? going take a sip of this coffee so I'm reading through the comments uh, Bissinger wrote Friday Night Lights well I haven't read the book but I've seen the movie and I've seen some Scenes here or there of the show. Decide, decide. Hmm, looks like uh, no box topper rip cards in the in this break. Maybe in the next one, number six, which is the last three boxes of the case. Box four, good luck everyone. I like those old school uniforms that the White Sox are wearing. White Sox are a good team this year, huh? So are the Yankees. Apparently the Yankees have the best record since the All-Star break. I was hoping to catch a White Sox game while I was out there in Chicago, but uh, was not meant to be. Well, Yankee fans are very, uh, let's say, passionate about their team. Wow, that's quite a view from the uh, the Field of Dreams there. You get to see the outfield, and there's, like, nothing but fields of grass. From a, from the player's perspective, a home plate, that's probably, that's probably crazy looking. Oh, dude, I, I was very fortunate enough to go to Wrigley, and I literally walked around the entire stadium on the outside, and Wrigley's gorgeous, beautiful stadium, old as hell, but that's the beauty of it. Like, I could feel the history in that, in that stadium, and the fans are, the fans are, are great. I wasn't a fan of the $10 beers, though, but that's in any ballpark.
But yeah, Wrigley's gorgeous. And it's, it's, it's like in the middle of the city, too, which is even cooler. And outside of Wrigley, there's a bunch of bars and restaurants and... Around the corner, you got like you got like neighborhoods where people live. You don't see that kind of stuff uh, here in Miami. The architecture, just everything, is so different out there in Chicago. I saw that, Christopher. Yeah, that's why I'm glad we got. Uh, we actually, the dude that I was, the people that I was with, were actually talking about that. So, we purposely sat at general admission, and we were lucky enough to find seats, and the view is amazing. I got to see a couple dingers hit that day, and some were somewhat close to me, so that was pretty cool. But, I would definitely recommend, and dude, like, I'm not even a huge baseball fan. But I was definitely, uh, definitely excited to get that, to get that out of the old, uh, what's it called? The old bucket list? I got Nick Solak, Rangers Relic. I've been to three ballparks so far. I would like to go to all 30 at some point. Almost done. Come on. Something crazy nice. Come out to play. I wonder what that Trevor Lawrence autograph is going for out of Ginter. It's got to be an on-card autograph, too. Or it's probably a redemption, maybe? I, I don't think I've hit a redemption yet in this stuff. I lied, I did. I hit a redemption for, uh, for a soccer player. Michelle Akers, I think it was? Uncle Larry, who uh, actually, fun fact, Uncle Larry does not go to the Phillies. Uncle Larry goes to the non-baseball spot. And I'm glad this uh, has shown up here so I can show you. Go to the checklist, and the Ginter, team checklist. So if you scroll down to the Phillies, the only Uncle Larry card for the Phillies is the Rip Card Double Player card. Alright? We always go off Group Break Checklist. And if I scroll all the way down to Other... Where is it? Maybe you buy that L. There he is. Uncle Larry. The relic for uh, Uncle Larry goes to the other spot. And the base and base mini Uncle Larry also go to the other spot, which is the non-baseball spot. So... I'm sure most of you knew that already, but just want to clarify that up, just in case. All right. Last pick. I 
looks like there's something there's a relic for Aaron Nola of the Phillies So if that is the break, I still got to open the box topper, so let's do that. We have... Uluru Rock, the world's largest. That'll go to the non baseball spot. Another world's largest, Mauna Loa, which is a volcano. Okay. Can we get a box topper autograph? That'd be awesome. largest blue whale the largest known mammal on planet earth I bet you got Zillas down there somewhere just just waiting what exactly for I don't know what do we have here Mr. Posey Buster Posey Giants box loader, decent, and that's the break, everyone. So to recap the hits, we got Nola Phillies, Solak Rangers, Bueller Dodgers, Guriel Jr. Blue Jays, Lee Cubs, Grisham Padres, Real Muto pa uh, Phillies, Marte Divex, Martinez Red Sox, Rodriguez for the Rangers, Mr. Bissinger non baseball, and Hatch Blue Jays. And that is the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out to you.